In Ottawa County, a woman has turned her heartache into hope. After her husband suffered a tough diagnosis, she wanted to share their story with others through the pages of a book. 13 on your side, Ottawa County reporter Keely Lovern takes us to Holland for a heartwarming story. Life for Mary and Chris Martin would never be the same after a 2013 diagnosis. And it came as, as an incredible shock. Uh, out of the clear blue sky, throat cancer, my husband doesn't smoke, and now we have a stage four um, diagnosis that we need to deal with. But they didn't just deal with it, the two fought it together. Because he did come home alive. Chris beat the throat cancer and by 2016, Mary wanted to share their journey. I really felt compelled to write the story. In April, Mary's book, Come Home Alive, was officially published. I felt like I wanted others to know our story and why we maybe had an edge on coming home alive. Mary says the book details a six point plan that the couple committed to early on in the diagnosis. Number one was prayer. We prayed with the tears rolling down our cheeks many times. Number two was to believe. We decided that we were gonna stay right here and have treatments done right here in West Michigan. So we wanted to believe in our home team. Point three and four were focused on knowing themselves as patient and caregiver to work together. Number five was to be grateful and thankful. And six was to expect a miracle. Indeed, um, we can expect a miracle and we, and we did. He's a beautiful man today and I love the twinkle in his eye. Mary also wanted to make sure the book reminded all caregivers and cancer patients that what they're doing matters and that they're not alone. Caregivers everywhere need to be told that you're doing a great job. But just as the book was published, unfortunately, Chris's cancer came back. This time, the only treatment was a laryngectomy, which has left him unable to speak or talk normally. Every single day, we are thankful for one more day that he has on this earth. In Holland, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.